know we were in a little bit of trouble. But with the army, there's always a hidden agenda. Even though Sadaristan was officially neutral, military intelligence was suspicious and dying to get a closer look. The four of us, already officially AWOL, just happened to fit the bill. Instead of sending us to prison, they gave us an offer that, you know. So, explain this one more time. First, they're angry with us for going into Sudaristan, but then they send us back in. They want us to find Zavomir Sadar. Zavomir, sir, did you say? Zavomir Sadar, father of the people, local dictator and all-around creep. Officially, he's neutral, but he's been playing both sides in the war for a very long time. Maybe his luck ran out. Anyway, we're here to persuade him to come in with us, all undercover style. So now we can go in and, and no one's gonna mind. Officially, the army's got nothing to do with this. If anyone catches us, we're still AWOL. Now let's find that observation point. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. You back with me, Sergeant? Over. Yeah. We got a little sidetrack, though. Over. An objective of your own? Over. Yep. Didn't pay off, though. Over. You pull this one off, you can start thinking about that fishing trip again. Over. So I've heard. Out. Is that a golf course? Of course it's a golf course. That's what dictators do. Build things they really don't need while their people starve. Hey, there's our job. It's flying really close to those bases, though. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. Officially, they're on a search and retrieve mission. The Daristan guys won't touch it. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit. Oh, shit! Shit! Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. Looks like these guys ain't neutral anymore. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. We know, we know. Now get moving and find Sadar and- Yeah, but how do we get him out without an extraction bird? Over. I was getting to that. There are three enemy SAM sites. You take those out, you'll get your extraction chopper. Eventually. Roger, out. Okay, there's the first one. Stay sharp, guys. There's a lot of activity down there. I wonder what kind of handicap they have. I bet they're all really good players. I mean, they'd have to be, right? Hey, guys, we got some Russians coming! Oh! 
Get some marshmallows! Yeah, got it, got it! RPG! Technology good. Damn it. Cool! Because I kind of look like golf cart. Wet water. Get down! RPG, get down! Man, driving tanks on a golf course. You put that in the arm closure, enlistment would skyrocket. Forget jumping out of planes, brothers in arms. You just show them driving a tank on a golf course, that's all they need. Charlie, over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet, over. Okay, all three SAM launchers are out, but this operation isn't exactly covert anymore. Over. You're doing good work, Sergeant. I'm not authorized to give you helicopter support at this time, but I'm dropping off a surprise that's gonna make your life a little bit easier. Make your way to the drop zone ASAP, over. Affirmative, we're Oscar Mike to the drop zone, out.
a big ugly flashlight. She drops a big ugly flashlight. Why did she drop this? It's a laser designator, meathead. You use it to guide in airstrikes. Heads up, hostile tank. Marlo, use that laser designator. That's what kind of that's what we got. Signal two, cleared at five miles, bearing one eight zero Angel five. Stand by for KDAM. Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Looks like you've stirred up a hornet's nest. We're seeing a whole lot of activity around the palace. Over. We're not exactly equipped for all-out war here. Over. There's a supply station close to your current location. I'm uploading the coordinates. Get over there and stock up. Over. Affirmative. Out. You heard her. Let's go shop.
See if you can find anything useful. We're moving on to the palace ASAP. Sarge! Can I drive while these? No, well, I promise. I won't scratch it. I think my insurance is covered. I need you on those guns, Haggard. Marlo, you're the designated driver. Think you can handle that?
Position!
think it's the president. What's he saying? Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it, it sounds like he's asking for help. What kind of help? I don't know. I, I think he's locked himself inside the safe room, and he can't get out. We'll get him out of there. Let's find him. Come on. Wow! This is an actual palace! It's like a... Uh, uh, Versailles? No. Buckingham Palace? No! Disneyland? What's it called? Xanadu. Sound of enemy coming.
Regroup! Doors open! How did you murder Chupu out here? Bridge, Bill Pillist, the piggy. Finish one yard, watch one yard. Uh, he, he thinks we're not being nice. Something about an enema, I think. Uh, and he doesn't want to come. Oh, he done pissed me off. What you, uh, somebody translate this for me. What you really want isn't the question here. Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, Presidentia, um, yeah, Excellentia. Let me try. Your Excellency, Mr. Uh, President's call. Haggard, no, you you don't speak, sir. To shut up. <laughs> I am in no need of witless translation. My English is holy, immaculate, Macron. Well, then you'll have no problem understanding this. We have come to bring you in. Bring you in. Just you. Just us. <laughs> Four puny military. Four puny military. Damn it, Haggard. Four puny military. Is no invasion. He's trespassing. Mike One Juliet, this is Bravo One Charlie. We have the package. Repeat, we have the package. Request immediate extraction. Over. Bravo One Charlie, this is Mike One Juliet. Leave the package. Repeat, leave the package. And you're not going to like this, Sergeant, but extraction is denied. Over. Denied? What do we have to do to get the bird here? Over. I hate to tell you this, boys, but it's not going to happen. We're going for deniability. You're on your own. Over. What do you mean we're on our own? How do we get out? Over? Any way you can. This isn't my call, boys. There's nothing I can do. They're telling me to cut you loose. I'm sorry. Out. So it's like that, then. Fellas, they're leaving us hanging out to dry. Ah, shit. Now we're never getting out of here. I may have means for our escape. Our escape? I'm afraid the father of Sedarishtan people now has no other recourse than exile. It was a mistake to request the services of these mercenaries. Hang on a minute. The Legionnaire is holding you here? Well, since I could not deliver the amount of gold he requested, he has appropriated my nation. But I will prevail. The Sedarishtan people will rise up and demand the return of their beloved father. Come. This guy's funny when he's in a hallucinogenic rage. And what's more, he may come in handy. Yeah, right, like tits on a bull. Well, just sit up already and tell us how to get out of here. Now, this is stately transportation for VIP. Quite improper for your unhygienic smelly bum bums. What about the unhygienic decor? I mean, is that a mirror ball? Although I have to confess, a hot tub is a very nice touch. Now, let me see how you fly this. Hold on. Get out of that seat. No fun. Preston, show us your stuff. Preston, you the man. I'll give it a shot. So there we were, crammed in a pimped out Russian hind with a megalomaniac and a rack full of bad CDs. Left to die by our superiors, and with the world's deadliest army using us for target practice. It wasn't the first time I'd flown a chopper, but the circumstances were sort of special.